Hey, bad things happen. We know that and bad things happen in houses. But if a bad thing has happened in a house you're selling, do you have an obligation to reveal it? Well, that takes us to this week's case. It involves a real couple, Kathleen and Joseph Chicano. They lived in Pennsylvania and there they had purchased a house at auction and then they proceeded to sell the house in 2007. Well, when they sold the house, they did not reveal that in 2006, a grisly crime had taken place in the house in which a man killed his wife and then committed suicide. The gal who bought the house, Janet Milliken, found out about this and actually brought suit to rescind the purchase of the house, saying there wasn't full disclosure. You guys should have told me about this horrid crime that took place and if I had been aware of it, I would not have purchased the house. Well, on the other side of the coin, we've got the Chicanos arguing, wait a second, wait a second, you know what? This was just one of those things that happened. Bad things happen, but it didn't in any way change the quality of the house. It didn't in any way change the value of the house, we don't think, because the house is still serviceable. It's still the same property it was before that murder took place. On the other side of the coin, Janet's arguing, yeah, it made a big difference, made a big difference because if I would have known that, I went to purchase the house. The house, for all intents, has a psychological taint to it. And for that reason, its value has gone down. Well, the case went forward, went to trial, and the trial court decided, judge, decided that the Chicanos were right and he granted judgment in their favor, saying this was not a material fact that needed to be revealed. Janet was a happy, she took the case up to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. And there the Pennsylvania Supreme Court considered these two arguments and came away and at the end of the day, they also agreed with the Chicanos. And they said, you know what? We have to only consider what are material facts. I mean, if it's got hardwood floors, air conditioning, various other things, those are all material. But as to whether or not there's some psychological taint, I mean, what do we have to consider here? Maybe satanic rites had taken place. Maybe somebody had engaged in some kind of crazy sexual activity or something else. Do you have to reveal all of that? And when does that become something that's essential to be revealed? And the court said we can't go there, and therefore it's only material facts that are objective that we need to have somebody reveal. Okay, and that was the end of that case. But now, there's a case that was decided some years ago up in New York, involved the man who lived in New York City, decided he wanted to retire to upstate New York, went up the Hudson River, found a beautiful home in a small town, and the house had been on the market for about a year. He proceeded to buy the house, moved in, and lo and behold, there were all kinds of crazy things that were happening, doors that were opening and closing, cupboard doors that were opening, strange sounds, and then he finds out whoa, this house had had the reputation for years of being haunted, of being haunted. He didn't know that. And as it turned out, none of the locals were buying the house because it was haunted. At least they thought it was. So he brought suit to rescind the purchase agreement. And that case went to court and it went up to appellate court in New York. And there the appellate court said, you know what? You, the seller, had an obligation to reveal the fact that the house had a reputation for having ghosts live there. Not that ghosts actually live there, we don't know that, but it had that reputation, and as a result of that reputation, the value of the house was diminished, and that's why it sat on the market for over a year, because nobody locally wanted to buy it. It was a material fact. Okay, so what do we learn from this? What do we learn from this? That you don't have to reveal murders and suicides, but you do have to reveal the possibility of ghosts living in a house? Well, you need to consult state law, you need to consult state law. But as a general rule, if it is a factor which is known to decrease the value of the property and a factor which the normal and average individual would consider as being a detrimental factor, it needs to be revealed. All right, we bring you this case as we bring you cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.